Hello everybody, it is me Madison and welcome back to another part in our legacy challenge. It is time for us to start dating our our best friend. No, <laughs> not exactly yet. But in this episode, I do think we are going to go over to his house, meet his mom and his son, and just become really close with the family so that, yes, we can start dating and get married basically as soon as possible following that exchange. And, um, yeah, I thought I turned this around. Um, we're going to have our girl wake up, get a quick meal of Let's have ice cream for breakfast. Breakfast of champions. And then come tend to her garden, because, uh, whoa. Those plants over there are failing quite heavily. Quite heavily. And we need to take care of all lot, but they all need to be watered. So, she's got a busy day of gardening, but leisure day will be happening on Thursday. So I'm kind of thinking we just continue to hang out with Layton until leisure day where we meet his parents because I'm thinking like, you know, maybe we can twist it to make it seem a little bit more realistic. You know, this is a Sims, so time moves like that. You know, 9 months is 3 days. Okay? So it can we can make it look and feel a little bit more realistic. And yes, my seasons are only seven days, despite how long my lifespan is set to. And that's simply because that means we have to go through more seasons and make it seem a little bit more realistic, like we're going through the years while we have our children and everything like that. So that's that. Um, and we have a wild horse over here. Ooh, and there's plants. Apple, lettuce, maybe we'll go harvest some lettuce. What else? Um, bell pepper and okay, not the be not the most um, outrageous, egregious, mouth watering plants. Uh, I thought are you not? I thought you. Okay, I'm getting a little bit confused. I think because I did have to film part one several times because the first time I had not set um, Layton to not get into a romantic relationship and before long him and Molly were expecting a child together and I was like, oh hell no. So I had to uh, leave. So I might be getting some stuff confused with that and I apologize, but we are definitely going to join the gardener career. It is a self-employed career and I kind of just like to have my Sims have self-employed careers when they're having a skill be their career because that means we can track how much money they make and I always like to know how much money they make off of their plants and stuff like that. So we'll definitely head into town probably today because we need to take a shower so we have to go to the gym and just become a gardener officially. Well it looks like Layton wants to talk so even though we haven't finished our gardening for the day we will accept that answer. He's our best friend, and when your best friend calls, you have to reply. I also couldn't find her outhouse for a second, so I'm glad I found it. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with the outhouse when we actually have a house house. Um, the only bad part about this lot is this mountain right here, because you can never, you have to stay close to the lot. I think it's far back enough that we could build a house on this lot. I'm not sure that might be something that has to go, but like eventually you would take an outhouse down probably. So maybe it makes some sense. I definitely want to keep our shed and the actual farm barn house that I built. We're definitely going to keep that. So everything else is welcome to change. Well, we can't move the well, okay? I'm also keeping that. I have standards, um, but the outhouse is more than welcome to move. Okay, so I see that Mr. Connor Frio was over here doing um, weights, so I decided to interrupt his workout and be that annoying person to just go say hello. Um, Connor, I just want to say hi to you, okay? How well are we going to hit it off? I need to know. Oh, apparently we're going to hit it off very well. Sorry, Connor, but uh, Leighton Sekimoto is our future lover, so back, get back. And then we're going to head over to City Hall and register as a self-employed gardener. And uh, then maybe we can stop by the consignment store and sell some of our, like our pecan or... It looks like a lot of these are seeds. And I don't want to sell seeds. That doesn't seem fair. But 
we can sell maybe a few things. Uh, who's calling us? It's Justine! Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll go over to Justine's house afterward. It seems like maybe she's calling to be like, Hey, you know, I was wondering if you wanted to come over and hang out, meet a meet, and meet a meet, a meet, yes. And of course, we're going to say yes. Okay, so from the career gardener's land, because, wait, no, ahem. From the career gardener's land comes a valuable and delightful harvest. Not content to just consume this fine produce, the career-minded gardener cares about selling quality goods and staying on top of the food chain. So we earn money by selling our harvestables, harvestable, harvestables that we've grown. Whew, that was a lot. Um, she's at the swimming pool? Well... Now she's going to be going home, right? So she's going home, and we're going to come to her house as well, okay? She's been home all night. I don't know what you're talking about. All night. She's already been home, okay? But this is their cute little house. I love that their houses in this world really don't match. I mean, like, look at Marty and Justine's house, and then the next-door neighbor's house. Um... No, doesn't really match, but I love this. I love Sunset Valley. It is such a good, good world. Truly, Sims 3 is spectacular on practically every level. Hi, Justine. Hello. Okay, so Marty's like, hello, Eden. I have heard so much about you from Justine. Also, Eden has a tan. Can you guys tell? Um, Let me see. I don't know if this is going to help much, but it will. There we go. Can you guys tell she has a tan? She's got a little bit of a tan. Um, also, her eyes are more of a mint color. Not really a, uh, <laughs> not much of a green, but, you know, it's fine. And then over here is little baby Amit. Hello. Of course, we're going to go say hello to him and just, like, get to know him because she wants to be friends with this whole family. But this is their house. It is so cute. The kitchen could use a lot of work. Um, more in particular, that floor, that needs a lot of help. Uh, but such a cute house. I love their house so much. And it's a very big bedroom from possibly another child, maybe, maybe. Though maybe they'll need to move into a bigger house if they have like more than just two kids they might need a bigger house okay so at least now we know him and let's just go say hello to justine all right it is the next morning basically she just hung out with justine for a little bit and then decided to come home last night because tomorrow is actually leisure day and so tomorrow we will be heading over to hang out with Layton's family in fact I'm pretty sure he called again this morning because her phone went off but I was speeding through the night and I was like should I answer should I not because she was still asleep and then by the time I decided to answer twas too late so yeah um hello skip do you guys think this is the skip? Oh my gosh, this probably is, like, maybe supposed to be, like, in lore, the skip who you meet in The Sims 3 University. Hmm, perhaps, perhaps. Let's maybe check some weekly events afterwards, just to kind of see what's going on. Tomorrow is um, leisure day, so we might go to the pool with Layton or go to his house right away. I'm kind of unsure what I want to do, but I know I want to spend the day with Layton and his family. Okay, Eden has just improved her gardening skill to level 3. She can now fertilize her garden plants with vegetables, fish, and other odds and ends. Okay, okay, okay. That's exciting, so that means we can maybe start fishing now. We do happen to live by a very, we do happen to live by a very, uh, beautiful lake. Come on, come on. A very beautiful lake, yes, yes, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ooh, all right, so we have our first little um, task for her to do, which is to deliver four very nice fruits or vegetables to Tamara Donner. 
And you know what? Yeah, we will do it after. No, no, no. I want you to finish your plants first. We'll do it as soon as we can. I don't know if we have, like, what quality we have. Nice, normal. We need very nice quality. We need two more very nice quality. And I don't know. Maybe we can head over to the the lake across the street and steal some. You know what I mean? Perhaps that would be a, a smart way to finish off this. There's an eating contest tonight. Well, she's hungry, so let's see if we can go and participate. Let's go see if we can enter this competition just for fun. It also says the best in show competition with a local pet adoption center is working with the Association of Wondrous Wildlife to host a pet competition. We don't have a pet, so we can't do that one. But maybe we can enter the eating competition because she's hungry. We can maybe win some simoleons. Uh, there is a mime. Yes. Uh, I never, ever, ever see mimes actually in this game. So we're going to give a tip. Because I never see mimes in this game. Y'all, this came with Showtime. And I kid you not, I have never seen somebody mime. Just out and around. Can I give a tip? We don't have a lot of money, but I would love to. Dang it. There we go. Wait, no. Yes. 11 simoleon tip, girl. If she's still here after our eating contest... We might try and become friends with her. Her name is Shayna Bodia. Bode. Bo, not Bode. But it, that's it's another thing you put on your toilet to clean your butt. So that's probably not what that's probably not what her last name is. <laughs> Granted, I don't think those were as popular as they are now back when this game came out. So perhaps it is possible. She looks like a pretty good mime. Oh, and look, Yumi is here! Oh my goodness! Uh, Oh, she got some more tips from Mr. Hank Gobard. This is so exciting. I've never seen a mime in game. I'm so freaking surprised. Oh my goodness. You have shown your true gastronomic skills and placed first in the eating contest. While you are a bit stuffed, you have won a cash prize of a thousand simoleons. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is so freaking cool. We should say hi to Zelda Mayor. I want to be friends with her too. Oh, is this Sim pregnant? Nancy, are you pregnant? <gasps> she is pregnant. She's having a boy. Hmm. I feel like all of the Sims always have boys. So I don't know no, how I feel about that. It looks like she is kind of busy, so I don't. I guess we can't be friends with Shayna, but she's sure pulling a crowd. Y'all, she should be getting paid for this restaurant for this free advertising. I'm just saying, just saying. Ooh, Molly and Ryder are now together. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so now we've met Zelda. I am going to have us head to the gym super quickly because it is starting to rain. And tomorrow, like I said, is a holiday, so I want us to be super well rested before then so that we can make the best of it. But, like, what a fun night. Not only did we make a thousand simoleons, I am sorry, Lucid Simmer, that we did not make those simoleons through our gardening. You'll have to forgive me, but, like, we got to free food plus a thousand simoleons. Perhaps we can now afford a shower for our place? <laughs> perhaps it's just it's not the positive yet just a maybe and we are going to finally be able to get to the point where we can start dating late in tomorrow so such a fun exciting a lot is happening and nick and vita have had their second child they now have kip alto i don't know how i feel about that i feel like it should be fancier because they're nick and vita alto but, okay. Leisure day is here. Enjoy the warm weather, take a dive into a pool, or just take a stroll around the summer festival. Leisure day is a day where you can take a break from work or school and relax. Relax is not the name of today for our lovely little miss founder here. Uh, she's going to be meeting a parent and a child after she tends to a garden. 
We're not going to throw a pool party. It's not a very nice leisure day, in all honesty. So perhaps just meeting Layton's family and hanging out with him is the best. But look at how beautiful this is, though. Even though it's gloomy and rainy, it is still just such a beautiful view. I love open worlds. <laughs> love them so much and would you look at that she has reached level four in her gardening skill sweet we still only have two friends but maybe we can get yumi to be our friend and molly gets you know, marty definitely marty so we have a lot of we know a lot of people we just haven't really gone through and worked to make connections stop leaving Stop it! Come back! Please! Don't leave! Don't leave! He's like, thank you so much. Okay, I thought I had a mod that that didn't happen. Um, but he's like, thank you so much for coming. I can't wait for you to like join me for dinner. This is their house. And look, Yumi has her own little section over here as well. But we're gonna talk about family with... Okay, yes, let's... Uh, um, Yumi, no, you're supposed to like us, girl. Let's go say hello to Yumi because this is why we're here. Be like, hello, Yumi. I am, you know, your son's best friend. And it's so great to finally meet you. Thank you so much for, like, letting me come over on this holiday. I know you probably had better things to do. And maybe, yeah, she's a little bit, like... Yeah, I did have better things to do, and I didn't really want to meet you, but you seem important to my son. She's kind of, like, closed off, maybe because she's, like, you know, his heart's already been broken once by Sam's mother, so she doesn't really trust women or maybe even males and his male friends to not break his heart again. So we might have to do a little bit of a... Uh, a way to get around that we might have to work really hard to kind of earn her trust i want to help my son layton raise his toddler sam freeing up my son's time so that he can find a new mate would be a fringe benefit okay dude i didn't even know that um that mod which i believe it is a part of the deep conversations mod had that i had never seen that I didn't, I haven't, like, updated the mod at all, so I don't know if that's, like, just missed it or what, but I like that. She's kind of, like, telling him, like, I don't trust people for my son, but I care about both of them, so I want, like, if you want to be his friend or more, you need to not only be nice to me, but you need to show me that I can trust you. But she's seeming to, like, warm up to her a little bit and let's talk about family be like yeah i would never like intentionally hurt layton i really love being his friend and i'm so excited to like meet his son and i'm so excited to meet you because i know that you two are like so important to him and just you know the the good like pleasing card that people do when they meet a maybe significant other's parent. You know what I mean? She's doing that. But she is being authentic about it. Of course she is. She is really hard though to get that relationship up with. And it is getting kind of late. So Sam might have to go to bed soon. But I want to meet Sam too. Ooh, she wants to be friends. It's been great meeting you. Maybe we should go on a real... Okay, well, not a real date. But I will gladly be your friend, Yumi. Sweet. So now we can come say hello to Sam. Snuggle him, maybe. Toss an air. Tickle. And then I would love... Oh, excuse me. Oh, she's hugging us. Oh, my goodness. Okay, she... I don't know what we did to make sure she knew that, you know, we really do like Layton. Not only, like, is he attractive, but <laughs> he is a, a man that we want to be friends with for a long time. Possibly until death do us part, if you know what I mean. So now let's just say hello to little Sam. And let's also, um, hmm, 
maybe we should did you already change his diaper i thought you did okay let's also read him to sleep maybe let's take a little picture with sam like trying to become like good friends and he seems to kind of take well to her because he's a toddler so he's not okay this is the best i'm gonna get but he's a toddler so he's not like immune to who this possibly could be okay we're we gonna read him to sleep better get okay yeah i can't read him to sleep when he get okay wake up read to sleep Get off the couch. Get off the couch. Okay, this is a great mod until you can't mess with the child because I get on the couch. No, I want to read him to sleep. I want to do it. Wait, please. I want to do it. Okay. Oh, look at his little pajamas. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh my god. Okay, that's not cute. <laughs> that's not cute. Okay, let's read Sam to sleep. He was falling asleep on the couch, so I don't think this will take too long. Okay, we're not going to read him to sleep. He passed out super quickly. So let's just, you know, cool over your child and be like, your kid is so stinking cute. And so is your mom. She seems like such a fantastic person. Thank you so much for letting me come over. And just like, your house is so cute. I appreciate this so much. And he's like, no, oh my God, it's one o'clock in the morning. But he's just like, no problem. And yeah there we go so maybe let's kind of let's say one of those hugs maybe turned a little bit romantic and they're both kind of like surprised by it Ooh, there is nothing like the feeling of a warm flame to make a sim happy you are the light of my life this has to be the scariest thing i've ever experienced i hope i don't have nightmares you are the light of my life <gasps> oh <gasps> yay this is why i love deep conversations oh my goodness look at them their first kiss in a bathroom so beautiful a nice romantic atmosphere okay two more of his traits watch the stars let's go watch the stars with him ah! <laughs> i've waited two hours uh to do this because <laughs> i'm like film time yeah two hours baby yay they are dating well they're not dating yet but they are romantic interests oh uh, yes yes a thousand times yes i love you okay super quickly we are dating now are we gonna yes we are and look, he's still in his work uniform because I forced him to come home from work for this. But, okay, a little creepy, not gonna lie. But, yay, boyfriend and girlfriend! <laughs> this is so exciting! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I want to do that. I want to do all of these, but I just can't, like, fit them. Let's go watch the stars super quickly, like, before we leave... Uh, Let's go watch the stars. Um, can you see them from here, I wonder? Okay, yes you can, and look how beautiful that nighttime sky is. Oh my goodness, uh, guys, yay! Our best friends are now dating yay oh my goodness this is so exciting this is so exciting um but i think i'm probably going to end this episode here simply because uh, oh simply because this is getting quite a long video and also like now we have to sleep all of friday so i might not film friday simply because like it's two o'clock in the morning her sleep is like i think in the red or something and we have a very crappy bed so it might take a little bit to get her sleep up so i don't know if there's going to be much use in filming the following day 
But I will see you guys all in the next episode because they are actually dating, which means that maybe the next episode will get engaged. I'm not quite sure what we'll be doing because we can't afford much yet. So I really do need your guys' opinion on what we should do with the house. Otherwise, I'm just going to sell the house and use the money from the sale of the house to actually redo the farm the farm barn. I keep calling the barn a farm so that I have to correct myself to barn. A farm barn, it rhymes. But like I'll re-fix up the barn a little bit. Not super nice. And I'll build them like a cute tiny little farmhouse that they can eventually expand. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like we'll sell the house and do that. But please let me know your guys' opinions and thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for what comes next. Adios, hey dua, goodbye, and hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer.